Let us now understand the weighted average method of calculating goodwill. Now in some of the previous videos, I explained to you how do you calculate goodwill using the simple average method. Right? Now what happens is that in case of simple average method, you just assign or let's say if the profits were 50,000, 60,000 and 70,000 for three years, one, two, three, we apply, we add them up, right? And then take a average of the goodwill, average of the profit, sorry, right? But what happens is that, you know, normally the profits of the latest year, let's say this third year is 2012, this is 2011, this is 2010. Normally, the most recent profits are indicative of what is going to be the future profitability of the firm. Right. So let's say if you are incurring a profit of 40,000 in year three, that means your profits are going to go down right although if you take the average of these three years the average profit will be 50,000 50,000 because let's say you have 50,000 here 60,000 here right take a sum of these three this will be 150,000 divided by three gives you 50,000 although the average the simple average profits is 50,000 what we notice here is that our profits are actually going down right therefore in order to give more importance to the recently earned profits what we do is that to each of these profits we assign a different weight so let's say you had 50,000 you have 60,000 and you have 40,000 instead of just taking the simple average of these three terms and dividing it by three what we do is we say let's assign some weight weight is nothing but the proportion which we give to these so we say let's assign a weight of three to this two to this and one to this and then we multiply the profits with the weight right so you'll get 50,000 here 1 lakh to 20,000 here and 1 lakh 20,000 here right then we take a sum of these three Two and uh, 120 plus 120 plus 50 gives you 290,000 we take the sum of the weights which is 6 and divide these profits by the weight right so this will give us what 4 8 3 3 3.33 3. 3. right for the same numbers of profit when I did it through simple average I got 50,000 as the profit but in weighted one I got 48,000 now let's understand why is it that these profits have dipped these profits have dipped because I have assigned a higher weight or higher percentage to the most recent profits and a lower weight or a lower percentage to the interim profits right because of which my total profits or the weighted profits the multiplied profits are less in case one and case two here and because the weight is more so the multiplying factor for this is more right now what this achieves for us is that once we've got this number you are getting a sense that the profits are actually going down so the importance of weighted average method is that you are able to provide more weight to the recent profits and therefore get a good indication for the future profits right and that's where the weighted average method for calculating goodwill is used. The procedure is simple. You just take the profits for the respective years, multiply them by the respective weights. These are given more to the latest profits. So we've given three to the latest year profit. Calculate the multiplication of profits into weight. Let's call this as PW. Take the total of the profits and divide them by the total of the weight to get the average profits.